viewers, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the subscribe button and click the bell button right side. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the right side. Please like, share, subscribe and comment my video. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and comment my video. Hi viewers, this is our topic, Class 10, Geography, Unit 6. Physical Geography of Tamil Nadu Lesson Book Exercise Question and Answer Map Work and Higher Order Thinking Questions First one letter choose the correct answer First one The latitudinal extent of Tamil Nadu is Option A 8 degree 5 minutes north to 13 degree 35 minutes north Option B 8 degree 5 minutes south to 13 degree 35 minutes south Option C 8 degree 0 minutes north to 13 degree 5 minutes north. Option D. 8 degree 0 minutes south to 13 degree 0 5 minutes south. Here the answer is not given in the option. The correct answer is 8 degree 4 minutes north to 13 degree 35 minutes north. Question number 2. The longitudinal extent of Tamil Nadu is Option A. 76 degree 18 minutes east to 80 degree 20 minutes east. Option B. 76 degree 18 minutes west to 80 degree 20 minutes west. Option C. 86 degree 18 minutes east to 10 degree 20 minutes east. Option D. 86 degree 18 minutes west to 10 degree 20 minutes west. Here the correct answer is option A 76 degree 18 minutes east to 80 degree 20 minutes east. Third one the highest peak in Tamil Nadu is option A Anemudi, option B Dottapetta, option C Magendragiri, option D Sarvarayan. Here the correct answer is option B Dottapetta. Fourth one, which of the following passes is not located in the western gods of Tamil Nadu? Option A, Palgat. Option B, Shinkota. Option C, Borgat. Option D, Achenkoil. Here the correct answer is Option C, Borgat. Fifth one, which one of the following rivers is flow into the Arabian Sea? Option A, Periyar. Option B, Kaveri. Option C, Chitar. Option D, Pavani. Here yeah, the correct answer is option A, Periyar because Periyar is the longest river and the river with the largest discharge potential in the Indian state of Kerala. Sixth one, the district with largest mangrove forest cover in Tamil Nadu is option A, Ramanathapuram, option B, Nagapatinam, option C, Kadalur, option D, Theni. Here yeah, the correct answer is option C, Kadalur. 7th one, retreating monsoon wind picks up moisture from Option A, Arabian Sea Option B, Bay of Bengal Option C, Indian Ocean Option D, Timur Sea Here yeah, the correct answer is Option B, Bay of Bengal Question number 8 Which of the following district is affected by sand dunes to a large extent? Option A, Theni Option B, Madurai Option C, Tanjavur Option D, Ramanathapuram here the correct answer is option D. Ramanadaburam. Question number 9. The district which has the largest forest cover in Tamil Nadu is Option A. Dharmapuri Option B. Vellur Option C. Dindukal Option D. E. Road Here the correct answer is option A. Dharmapuri. Second Roman letter fill in the blanks. Question number 1. The plateau which lies between the Nilagris and Dharmapuri district is Das. The answer is Coimbatore. Second one, Das is the highest peak in the southernmost part of the eastern Ghats. The answer is Solekardu. Third one, the riverine island of Sri Rangam is located between Das and Das branches of Kaveri. The answer is Kolidam and Kaveri. Fourth one, Das is the Tamil Nadu straight animal. The answer is Nilgiritar. Third Roman letter match the following. First one, winter season, January and February. Second one, summer season, March to May. Third one, southwest monsoon, June to September. Fourth one, northeast monsoon, October to December. Fifth one, mango shower, pre-monsoon. Fourth Roman letter, accession type question. First one, accession. Tamil Nadu does not receive much rainfall from southwest monsoon. Reason, it is situated in the rain shadow area of the western Ghats. 
option a both a and r are true and r explains a option b both a and r are true but r does not explain a option c a is true but r is false option d r is true but a is false here the correct answer is option a both a and r are true and r explains a fifth roman letter answer the following in brief question number 1 state the boundaries of tamil nadu question number 2 what is terry question number 3 how was coastal plain formed question number 4 name the major islands of tamil nadu question number 5 name the tributaries of river thamirabarani question number 6 define disaster risk reduction Question number 7 During cyclone how does the meteorological department warn the fishermen Sixth roman letter distinguishes between the following first one Thamirabarani and Kaveri Seventh roman letter give reasons for the following first one eastern ghats are not a continuous range or the eastern ghats is discontinuous second one tamil nadu receives low rainfall during southwest monsoon third one kadalur is a multi prone disaster zone Eighth Roman letter answer the following in a paragraph. Question number one: Describe the nature of the plateau region of Tamil Nadu. Question number two: Write an account on River Kaveri. Question number three: Explain the characteristic features of summer and winter seasons of Tamil Nadu. Question number 4 Bring out the types and distribution of soils in Tamil Nadu Question number 5 What are the risk reduction measures taken before and after cyclone Map work Ninth Roman letter map study question number 1 Mark important rivers. Distribution of soil. Types of forest. Higher order thinking questions. Book insight question. First one. Name the first state of India created on linguistic basis. Second one why was the capital of Tamil Nadu renamed Question number 3 why are mountain heights measured from mean sea level and not from ground level Question number 4 what is agni nakshatram Question number 5 group the districts of Tamil Nadu into low moderate and heavy rainfall regions Thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more videos it will be useful for your competitive exam